Welcome back to SC Detailing. Today we're having motorbike. This is in for our winter protection. Uh, it's a little bit different to a car. There's a few more intricate areas. You've got obviously all the bolt holes, all the likes of the heat shields, the fairings. So it is a little bit more intricate. Got to be a little bit more sensitive with what we use on it so we don't want to crack those plastics. All in all, I think we're going to have a fun day with this one, see how this one comes out. What I want to first of all do with this one, I want to degrease the rear wheel. The reason being we've got an open chain at the other side of this on the fairing. So when we're on the road or on tracks, this bike built the track as well. You lean into a corner, you've got the potential of your grease flying up onto your wheel. Problem we don't really have with cars unless you have a mechanical failure. So this is a little bit different. Normally I'll go straight in with the wheel cleaner, but the wheel's pretty clean, it's just a little bit of grease that we're going to get off first. Spread some chemical guys to grease it on it, I'm going to agitate it with some brushes, then rinse it off and see how we're looking. Right, so now before I hit it with snow foam, I'm going to go with some old uh, all purpose cleaner from Auto Glands. Where I'm going to spray this is just sort of around with bold hole areas, bits are a little bit more open to get, agitate it with a brush, leave it for a few moments, snow foam it all off, then we'll be good to go and continue our wash process and get it ready for a seal. Right, so I've went over the little fiddly areas now with some all purpose cleaner, a few different brushes, getting all that agitated. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to give it a quick snow foam off, I'll get thick of the dirt off here, I'll agitate a few of the areas again whilst that's dwelling, go over the wheels once again, then we should be ready to move on with a wash and then get it inside to finish off for the day. So as is the norm, we've done all the safe wash outside, we've cleaned and degreased those wheels which is a little bit different to normal. Now, standard practice, we've got it inside, we're going to give it a clear bar, obviously there's not much to clear on this, just to get any last bonded contaminants off, give her a nice smooth surface to seal it up and get ready for winter. So we've done a regular decom process, we've used some slightly less abrasive and less harsh chemicals on it because it's very sensitive areas with the plastic, especially where we've got bolt holes and such. We've dried the bike off, cleared it, we'll give it a wipe down so we've got a nice smooth surface. We want to tack it with Auto Perfect M1 coat, the usual choice for sealing for this. This will see it nicely over winter and definitely into next year because this bike's now going to be laid up. Right, so obviously there's not much of the bike to seal, so we've done that up, hasn't taken long at all. Now what we're going to do is go with some Trim Reaper from Auto Glands. This is a plastic dressing sort of application. We'll be going over just little bits of the fairing here that's matte black, tidying up, making it look absolutely bang on point and looking smart for the owner when he returns. glass cleaner it's got the hot hydrophobic properties to it so if this is out in the rain at least the water will be running off it to give him a nice clear vision on the road because the last thing he wants is to be going along the road with this and hit something for not seeing it right now just a little finishing touch I'm going to get a little bit of metal polish to try and tidy this up a little bit it's got a few little bits of pit and mark but I'm guessing that may be off a boot try and get it tidied up a little bit a bit more shine onto it and I think that'll be it, done and dusted for today. Right, 
Right, so now we're finished up with the bike. We've went through a regular process of snow foam pre-wash. We've agitated all the tight little areas on it. Full decontamination of clay bar, etc. We've then went through, sealed it, sealed every area on the bike that we can, including the plastics. We've had a quick look at the metal, done a little bit of alloy polishing on that to try and bring them up a little bit. But I think that now is another one done and dusted, and for now, enjoy the bike.